Hi, and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 Lab Online. I am your host, Dr. Russell Betts, and I'll be guiding you through today's experiment, which happens to be acids, bases, and buffers. Probably the single coolest experiment we do all semester as part of this lab. Go ahead and hit that like button down there if you thought this lab was pretty fun to do. Uh, many students do. Many students have a lot of fun with this experiment. So now, part one, student will observe the determination of pH using pH strips. pH strips are just pieces of paper that will turn specific colors depending on the concentration of hydronium. Bright red is acidic, dark blue is extremely basic, and anything, all kind of colors in between can kind of give you an idea of the concentration of hydronium. In parts two, A, B, and C, a student will determine the effects of adding acids and bases to water and buffer. It's a virtual experiment, and it's uh, really fun to do. It's really informative on how buffers really work. And part three, you guys will create your own pH buffer using red cabbage. Yes, you saw that correctly. You're going to buy some fresh red cabbage, which, by the way, tastes really good, and you're going to extract the dye from it, and you're going to make a pH indicator. Acids, bases, and buffers. Important formulas. Write these down, guys. pH is the negative log of the concentration of hydronium. H3O plus is hydronium. Now remember, in the square bracket notation, whatever's inside the square bracket, what this means is it is the concentration of hydronium, which is inside the square bracket, in molarity, moles per liter. Remember, molarity, moles over liters. That's molarity, right? So whatever's in the square bracket is the concentration of that thing in molarity. And for pH, in pH, you're going to see this a lot because we're always talking about the concentration of hydronium because that's what we're measuring when we're measuring pH. Okay. Now that we have our formulas, let's put them into practice by doing this example. What is the pH of a solution that has a concentration of H plus of 0.015 molar? Is the solution acidic, basic, or neutral? All right, first thing we have to address is this. Depending on the book you're reading, some books will say or they're saying the same thing. Okay, so if you see H plus, or hydronium in the square brackets, they're saying the same thing. They're saying the concentration of hydronium. Okay? So in this example, the concentration of hydronium is 0 0.015 molar. Calculate pH. All you got to do is plug it in to the formula. Oops, I should put the formula in there. Molar equals. Grab your handy dandy calculator. Let me use my phone calculator. So I have negative log okay and I get a constant I get a pH of 1.82 there we go which is acidic. Remember, on the pH scale, if you're 7, you're neutral. If you're below 7, you're acidic. If you're above 7, you're basic. And that's how the scale works. Here's another example. In this example, we have the pH of the solution, and we want to know the concentration of H plus ions, or hydronium. H plus and hydronium are often used interchangeably. So we know that the concentration of hydronium is 10 to the negative pH. We know the pH is 4.5. So literally, it's 10 to the negative 4.5. Grab your calculator. You can calculate this out. It's a matter of just punching it in your calculator correctly. And I get 's the there's the concentration of hydronium if the pH is that 
And the question doesn't ask, but I'm just going to say it anyway. This pH is acidic. How do I know? It's below 7. pH of 7 is neutral. Below 7 is acidic. Above 7 is basic. All right, part one. We're going to be doing the determination of the pH of a solution using strips. The strips look just like this. And the bottle of strips is right here. This is the bottle of strips. And on the side of the bottle is printed all the colors and the pHs. So again, bright red is very acidic. Shades of orange become less acidic. Yellow green is kind of neutral. Shades of green is becoming slightly basic. And shades of dark blue are extremely basic. Okay? And that's how you read them. It's a very simple experiment. We're going to test a lot of different items in this video. And you're just going to write down the pH and calculate the concentration of hydronium. Very, very simple. Kind of fun, too. Part two, we're going to do some measuring of the pH uh, after we do some kind of change. So we're going to test the pH, sorry, the, the change that occurs with water and acid, water and base. You're going to see some drastic changes. And then we're going to make a buffer. This is all done in the virtual lab. You're going to make a buffer. And then you're going to do the same thing to that buffer that you did to water. And you're going to see that the buffer is very good at resisting the change of pH. But it, you got to go to the virtual lab and you got to prove it to yourself. Okay? Buffers are solutions that resist the change to pH. Okay? Very, very simple. A lot of fun. Now here. Now here's the experiment everyone waits for. pH indicator from cabbage. Food has a lot of pigments in it. They have a lot of organic compounds that are that will change color as they ripen. And that's almost always pH dependent. So as food ripens, generally speaking, it becomes more acidic. Humans like acidic food. We don't like basic food. Basic things are bitter. We like things that are acidic because they have a more vibrant, bright flavor in our mouth. So as fruit ripens, consider blueberries, for example. They're green, and as they ripen, they turn blue. Well, they also become more acidic as they ripen. So something's happening with the chemistry in the, in the skins, right? Red cabbage. It turns red when it's ready to eat. And that red pigment, that delicious, beautiful cabbage, can give us that nice red pigment, which is pH sensitive. It'll change color depending on the pH. It is awesome, cool. But be careful while you're doing it. You're going to be working with hot water, sharp knives, and all that kind of stuff. Put on your safety goggles. Wear old clothes because the pigment will stain your clothes. You don't want to ruin your nice clothes. And just have some fun with it. You're going to be using household cleaners, food items. Test whatever you want. It's a lot of fun. This part, part of the chemistry is just having fun with it and learning as you go. All right, guys? And with that, I want to wish you all good luck, good chemistry, and have fun with that pigment from red cabbage. And oh, by the way, shred it up, put it in a salad. It is magnificent. <music>